Okay, so this mower has seen better days. Um, when I got it, it wasn't running. Wouldn't it, it was hard to even pull because it is really low on oil and it sat around for a long time and finally got it free and loose and then um, took the carburetor off, cleaned the carburetor and uh, pulled the main jet, cleaned it out, it had all kinds of green junk in it um, just from you know alcohol and the fuel probably uh, gumming it up from years of sitting and uh, so I cleaned that out, got it back in, and it runs. But we're having a choke issue. And uh, I used this little string in order to fix that choke issue, but it's not so automatic like it was designed to be. It's designed to be an auto choke. And this little lever, there's an actuator over here, should be, that gets heated up by the exhaust and moves this thing open and so the problem that I'm having is it'll start and run but um, when it's hot I can't and if I let it stall or if it stalls or if I just you know turn it off I can't get it to turn back on unless I pull this string and open the valve myself so I'm gonna go in there and see what's wrong with it and see if I can't get it to um, link back up and and become more automatic. This is an air vane spring that Briggs and Stratton put on there to kind of make that a little bit more functional. And that pops off all the time. So if that's what you're missing, that's an air vane spring that you can get from a, a parts store. And uh, But we're going to take this apart. We'll see what's going on with it. like there's another bolt down here underneath the, the tank I don't know if you can actually see it or not but it's way underneath there there it is right there I still got gas in this, so I didn't really feel like draining it. We'll see how that goes for me. All right, next, next we have the engine shroud. I already took the front bolts off of here. Looks like I got some bolts, two bolts in the back.
need to remove the bolt for the dipstick. This one. Yep. That came out. That was kind of stupid. I think I put this back right where it goes because it's easy to lose track of little things like that. Let's see if we can just pop out. It took me a while to figure out the correct adjustment on this air vein arm, which is the auto choke on these brakes and strat. Um, but after a few trial and errors like, and uh, a little bit of research that I did, I kind of figured it out. Um, but there's these projection lines right here on the on the arm itself, and then the valve opener on the exhaust. You want to adjust this when it's in the cold position, which is all the way back, resting against that piece, that metal piece. And uh, what you do is you bend this little tab in and out, and you line it up in the middle of this one and in the middle of this one. You want it in the middle of the front ones so that the lever will stay attached and you won't have this problem again. But you want it between these two lines so that it's not touching the arm while it's cold because that's what this spring does. It, it retracts it, okay? But you also want it moving freely so that it can, when it, you know, starts running, it can open the valve automatically without waiting for this to heat up. But once it does heat up, then it's able to control it. So, because um, I had the problem where I attached it to this and then it just wouldn't open quick enough. So you want it free. Um, so I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, it was kind of a bear for me to try and figure out, but um, I hope that helps you.